Hello everybody, it's Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we are going to be going through the Goodwill outlet bins, but as a little bit of a twist in this video, I'll be stopping along the way to give you some tips for shopping the bins. If you are new here, I'd like to welcome you. My name is Margaret. I'm a homeschooling reselling mom that flips things from garage sales, estate sales, and thrift stores on eBay and Etsy to help support my family. And I like going to the bins because I can get things for super cheap to flip. So, so far I haven't found any big winners yet. Uh, this was an interesting picture, but I didn't end up getting it. Let's see what else. There's an old book of the Prince and the Pauper. Here's a little glass uh, framed embroidery piece. Hmm... Rochelle's canoe rental. Do you have to do you have to survive a canoe rental place? I mean it might be a place I want to visit now. So first stop is collecting things that you know you can bulk price. So on this Texas Longhorns ornament, so even if I'm not sure that I'm gonna buy it, I go ahead and put it into my cart because I know that I can get up to 20 items for a buck 99 that are breakable. So I start compiling things in my cart already and then I, if I have 20 or more, 25, I can throw things back. Um, but I like to make sure that I get the most for my money and get those 20 items for a buck 99 because whether it's 10, 15, it's going to be $1.99. So I try to get the most that I can for that $2. So it looks like eh, a hat. I like picking up hats, but that one's not in great shape. Not so sure about that bowl to count as my, one of my 20 items. Let's see what else we find here. What is this? Instacrate. Nope, don't need that. Okay, so this is a baby doll that's got this weird hole in the back. So my next tip is if you see something that you've never seen before, look it up and see if it is worth picking up. Now, whether you throw it in your cart and look it up later or you look it up right away, it's definitely worth it, especially if you've never seen anything like it before. So it turns out this is a Nintendo Wii babysitting doll and they sell in this condition for, I don't know, about $13 or so, so it wasn't worth me picking up, but I had certainly never seen anything like it before. But now I know if I see it again, I'll give it a pass. Let's see what else we've got going on here. A lot of garbage, but it's definitely worth digging because I do find quite a bit of really good stuff on this trip. Ah, nutcracker, but broken. And I do find a really good nutcracker. I don't show you in the, as I'm digging through, but I'll show you at the end. And it was in a haul video that I did too, so. Let's see. I always like to look at these cards just in case there's something I might like to use, but I don't see anything here that I want. I look more for like blank cards or thank you cards that I can insert uh, with my, with things that people buy. Let's see what else we've got. There's a lot of times, a lot of really good stuff falls to the bottom, so I don't mind digging down to the bottom to see what I can find. Now, what's under all of this? Hmm. Slow fit triathlete. Hmm. Oh, okay. Next tip. This kind of goes along with the 20 items for a buck 99. I pick up books, even if I'm not sure I'm going to get them, if they look like they might be worth picking up or selling, because I can get five books for a dollar. And I'd rather get five books for a dollar than two books for a dollar. So it really brings the cost of those books down. So I pick up books along the way and try to make sure that I have at least five by the end whenever I'm checking out. The next thing is to figure out if what you've got is worth its weight. So this is a really cool Apple paperweight and I have to decide because it is very heavy. It's stone. Is it worth the price that it's going to pay as much as it weighs for me to sell it? And I decide yes, that I do go ahead and get it. Even though it's heavy, I think that I'll still be able to make probably a $10 profit on it. Next, uh, I know remote controls can do well, but I don't know a ton about them. So, And if you see anything along the way or you want to give some tips, then go down there and leave a comment or go read the comments and see what other tips everyone is giving in the comment section. Let's see what we've got here. These are their Staples brand uh, coffee mug, I guess, cool to keep them from burning your hands. 
All right, so here is the next item. I think this is so cool and unusual. I have to have my 20 items anyway. So look for the unusual, something that's a little bit different because a lot of times those things can bring in a surprising profit. I thought this was going to be a cool Lisa Frank thing to get, but it really wasn't anything worth picking up. Let's see. Next. What have I got here? Nope. Nope. That's a floaty thing for the pool. I always look for crafts and stuff for, for us because we homeschool, so I'm always looking for things that we can use. But no, check those wallets and purses for money. And sometimes if you're looking through the clothes, the pockets, because it, it can happen. I should have stopped and done another tip. Tip, look for cash because I have found cash in the bins before. So <laughs> pro tip, look for cash. Okay, so these are some forks. And I... The next tip I've got is I was looking for these forks because I thought they were really cool. And the tip that I want to give is to keep in mind, maybe beforehand, um, is it worth looking for the rest of them if there, if there are, are any more in there? Because later I realized, you know what, I probably wasted my time looking for more of those particular forks. Because, I mean, I ended up getting them, but I don't think that they're really going to be worth that much and maybe my time could have been spent better so really consider whether or not it's worth your time to, to continue digging looking for a full set of something before you find them all or look for them all I also realized I pushed a Nerf gun aside and I didn't even notice at, at the time because I was so busy look there's that Nerf gun right there my kids are always like look for Nerf guns mom but I was so focused on looking for those forks that I didn't even register the Nerf gun um, in my peripheral vision. All right, so I have found silver, so it is it is worth looking at cutlery because I have found solid silver um, spoons before, and uh, that was nice. Look, I even put my hand on it. Why didn't I pick it up? Why? I'm focused on that fork. Where's the rest of the forks? It doesn't matter. All right, so that's an apple candle. I do give up eventually. <laughs> All right, let's move on. So this is another thing. Um, I should have looked it up. I just automatically assumed that this was going to be a really good pickup. So um, don't always trust your own judgment, which sounds really weird. But but even if you think you know for sure, it might be worth looking things up anyway. Because I thought, oh, this is going to be so cool, you know. And But then again, I'm like, well, we might use it for a school. Or I know somebody else who could use the, the magnet game where it's like matching magnet pictures. Um, so probably should have gone ahead and looked it up, but I didn't. All right, more forks. <laughs> uh, and then they're, I mean, it's going to take time to clean those things up. That's another thing. Like, is it worth cleaning them up? Oh, I don't know. You got to think about your time as far as that goes as well. If you find something that's really messy or dirty, the time it's going to take for you to get it in a sellable condition. Another thing I probably should have gotten, but I didn't was a cool labyrinth disc. All right, what else? My kids love these Guinness book books, but I think we might have that one. All right, next tip. If you find a really good bag, get it. Because on my bins, anyway, don't have bags. So whatever you buy, you have to grab, you know, bring your own bags or whatever. And so this is a really nice looking HEB bag that um, I could have gotten to put my purchases in when I was checking out. So it looked pretty clean. It looked almost brand new. Let's see what else we find here. I'm pretty sure I got that uh, mug that I showed you a second ago. And I do like to look at belts. Sometimes you can find a nice belt, but that one was in pretty rough shape. Then, what have we got here? Oh, this was like a music box. It was missing the top part, but I was, I, I like music boxes, so I'm always drawn to them. But I don't end up getting that one. What else? I... Let me know if you see something I miss, because I always miss things. You just get in this sort of, sometimes you just sort of glaze over things sometimes when you go to the bins. Tell me if that happens to you. Uh, you really have to try to keep your focus on all of the stuff you're seeing. And it can be challenging <laughs> to keep it all in your mind. Like, what am I seeing here? All right, that's an interesting plate, but it wasn't marked, so it went back. Let's see what else we've got here. I see Scooby-Doo, DVD, no, not DVD, VHS. 
Thomas the Train, eh. Let's see what else we've got here. Now, this white bowl, even though I could have picked it up as one of my 20 items, I just thought, eh, that's kind of like a dime a dozen type of deal, so I just left it behind. So definitely didn't get that. And I'm digging down into the bottom. I'm trying to get through. This one is really full. Okay, so this is a Fiesta bowl. So this is my next tip, is to have a nice uh, idea of some different brands that you could be looking for. This goes for garage sales as well. So having a good kind of list of what kind of ceramic stuff would you look for? What kind of kitchenware would you look for? Having that in mind when you're at the bins as well and knowing that Fiesta is a fair brand to pick up. I know that seems like it's easier said than done, but by watching other people's videos and by slowly looking things up as you find them, then that's one way to really start building your repertoire of things that you can identify when you see them out there. So taking that time to do that little bit of research can really help you out when you are looking for items to flip. That way you don't leave something behind that you didn't know was worth a profit, which we all do it, but the more you learn, the better you get at it. So. That's, uh, that's my advice. Then I, oh, this baby doll didn't have a face or anything. Somebody who started it but never finished it. And I really kind of wanted to get this, whatever this is. Is it a magazine holder or a wine rack? I don't even know. I liked it, but I realized this is kind of heavy. It was metal. And I wasn't sure what kind of profit I could get on it. So this is where I decided eh, it's not going to be worth it because it's too heavy for what I might be able to make on it. So I left it behind. Then, what else do we see here? I like looking for craft supplies like that. I thought it might have been some nice beads, but it was not, they were just plastic. And I was on the fence about this apron. I thought it was really cute. It had these hibiscus, and it says Hawaii on it. It might have been a good pickup, but meh. All right, I did get this book. This is in our book club uh, coming up in a couple months, and I'm giving it to my friend, or I gave it to my friend Angelique, because we are reading that book in our, our kids' book club. So, yay, <laughs> 20 cents. Next up, these galvanized metal letters say, I love you. I didn't end up getting them. I kind of regret it, but really, probably for the best. They, they didn't weigh that much, and they probably would have sold for a yeah, okay, but nothing major. Planters can do well. This one needed some cleaning, and uh, I wasn't sure about it. It might have been worth, because it was ceramic, so, eh. But I did get a lot of ceramic items, so I really uh, was okay with leaving it behind. And this was also metal. If there had been two, I probably would have gotten them both. both. All right, next tip. Um, so I talk about magnetiles. These are not magnetiles, they're another brand, I forget what they're called, but they're like magnetiles. When you see some, grab them and, and look around to see if you find more in the bins because once you get a good lot of them, it can be worth flipping a set. So if you see something that's worth money and you only see a few, my, my tip there is pick it up and look for more. And here, this tip is look for damage. So I almost picked up this little box because I thought it was really cute, but I'm thankful that I took the time to look it over and make sure it wasn't damaged before I brought it home because that's the worst. When you get something home and it's damaged and you just should have left it behind. Next, we are looking at, let's see, more books. Oh, I hear that's a good book and movie, but I just can't bring myself to read it or watch it. I hear it's pretty stressful. Uh, these are some nice note cards, but there weren't very many in there. Or was that just completely empty? Might have been empty. So didn't get that. And what else have we got over here? I don't think I even looked at that hat. Ah, next tip is, this is something that would have sold, probably, but this is where I have to decide, is this, because the bow on the top would have had to been replaced, would have been worth my time to replace or repair the item in order to make it sell? And I decided, no. So sometimes you'll find things that need more cleaning or more repair than is worth your time as far as flipping it. So keep that in mind when you're picking things up that sometimes it might take more out of you than it would to just go ahead and not get it. 
My next tip is when you find an item that might be part of a set, say a nativity, um, to go ahead and hang on to it and see if you can find the rest of the set. So it's kind of like with the, the magnetile magnets, looking for something to lot up. This is similar as far as look for the rest of the set. So I didn't end up finding the rest of that nativity, but I went ahead and held on to, I guess it was Joseph or one of the, yeah, I think so, one of the shepherds, and um, held on to it just in case I found more I didn't, but hey, it was worth a shot. Now those lights there, I haven't picked up Christmas lights, but my suggestion would be if you find anything that's electronic, um, plug it in if it has a plug and see if it works. I know the light or the lamps don't tend to have light bulbs, but if you find something else that has a plug, yeah, plug it in, see if it works before you walk out with it. Might be worth it. I liked these little silver dishes, but they ended up being plastic and not metal. If they had been metal, I would have picked them up just because I think they're cool. And yeah, sometimes you just buy stuff for yourself. There's a Nerf dart right there, one of the like Whistler ones, and I didn't get it. It goes with like the bow and arrow, and I didn't even notice it until right now. Uh, let's see what else. So this, this bin has a ton. It was really tough because, I mean, even when I dug without my phone in my hand, it was hard because it was so much stuff in these bins they were just overflowing so it was hard to get down into the bottom and get behind stuff um, but really it's worth the time to to dig through because sometimes ta -da, sometimes it's worth the dig and you'll find some really cool glass beads like this so definitely take the time to dig underneath and around different things in the bins to find cool stuff I mean, that's what we're there for, right? We are there to dig. So get in there, get your gloves on, and dig, dig, dig. I don't think I mentioned that earlier, but definitely get some good gloves. <laughs> because we have come across so many different things in the bins as far as breakables and fluids, etc. So get something to protect your hands. I know some people wear masks as well. Um, I don't n generally, but I would suggest probably next time to myself, bring some tissues because I do get like a sniffly nose when I'm in the, when I'm there because of all the dust and things that are in the air. I do get a bit of the sniffles. Let's see. I mean, this is just jam packed of stuff. This is what I'm talking about. My eyes just kind of go into overload and I have trouble like focusing on what I'm seeing. So this is a Cocopelli mug, which I probably would have gotten, but this one also has some damage. There's a chip right there. And so definitely, once again, checking for damage is is important because otherwise I would have gotten it and I would have gotten home and been really bummed out and just had to redonate it. So, and then this Vegas mug, I, I see mugs like that fairly frequently. Okay, so my next tip has to do with this. This is a Batat game, and it's one where you listen for different things. I think it's like a French learning game. The problem was that the disc or the, the tape is missing. So if you're going to buy something like a game or a puzzle or things like that, count and make sure that it's got all the pieces that it needs. Because, and this one might have been worth it, but uh, yeah, it was missing the tape. So, I mean, what are you going to do? How can you play the game? If you don't have the tape, it tells you to move your guy to the biblioteca. Now, what have we got? More digging. Placemats, don't need it. Empty Play-Doh containers, nope. Ah, uh, this is a really nice dish with a nautilus shell on it. And if it's some, called something else, let me know. So just looking for unusual things. I think I mentioned that once before, but finding really cool, unusual stuff, I think that's going to sell. So trust your judgment. So looking through this last little bit, we're going to be winding up and I have some photographs at the end of my tubs in the back of my van once I got out of there. So um, hang on just a second and I will show you some of the cool stuff that I got because I didn't end up videotaping the whole time I was in there. So you can see some of my haul. Got a cool puppet and this is something I've done a haul video on for already. Some of these breakables I have not and just a second, you'll see this angry little raccoon ornament. I just love him. He's so angry. All right, go down there, you guys, and hit that thumbs up, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.